Sports drinks are universally consumed every day. They claim to be able to hydrate, replenish, and refuel the body following grueling workouts or sporting performances or even a hard day's work. You're probably familiar with them, particularly Gatorade or Powerade. These are two of the most common. But what do they actually do and why would you need to drink one? I can give you a hint, a hazy Sunday morning isn't one of the reasons why. Touch on electrolytes first, so why your body needs them. This is a little bit boring, I'm not gonna lie, but it's important to understand so that you know the whole reason why Gatorade is marketed towards replacing electrolytes. So basically these minerals, uh, this includes sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, things like this, uh, they conduct electricity within the body and are essential for different processes in the body such as your nerves working, your muscles, communication between them and your heart beating properly for example it's, that's not a exhaustive list but they're just some of the main things that your body needs electrolytes for let's start with sodium so sodium is the big one sodium plays a role in your nervous system and your muscles being able to communicate with each other so that you can move before a muscle contracts sodium is going to flow into the nerve cell and this is going to stimulate an electrical signal that electrical signal is then sent to the muscle and then the muscle contracts so then you move so if you have a deficiency in sodium, this communication between the nerve cells and the muscles is gonna be compromised and it's gonna to lead to a loss of muscle strength and muscle power. All right, so then how do you become deficient in electrolytes or how do you lose these electrolytes? Basically, wherever electrolytes are in the body, there is also water because water is really attracted to electrolytes. So when you become dehydrated or you sweat. It's real sweat. I'm a high performance athlete. Um, Athletes sweat. Sweat, baby. Keep, keep, keep. Rah, sweat, sweat. <laughs> You're going to lose these electrolytes. And when we lose electrolytes, our muscles suffer. Not only because electrolytes are key for muscle function, but it means we're probably gonna be pretty dehydrated as well. And when we're dehydrated, our core temperature rises, which means we fatigue quicker. So that's gonna be a recipe for disaster if we're trying to maintain a high level of performance out on the field or the track. Now, normally a balanced diet is gonna give you plenty of electrolytes, but there are certain conditions or circumstances where you might be running low. And this could be strenuous exercise, it could be being outside in the heat for long periods of time or even illness or medications. Uh, so this is where a sports drink might actually come in handy so you can top up your electrolytes. Now, according to Gatorade's website, these drinks are able to hydrate, replenish and refuel. So I guess the hydration is coming from the liquid, the replenishment of the electrolytes and then refueling via carbohydrates within the drink. Now, we know why we need electrolytes and the important role they play but I think the really great thing about these kind of drinks is the sodium in them it stimulates thirst and it makes you want to drink more so I don't know if you've ever eaten something really salty and you just feel like you need to keep drinking whether it's water or other some other kind of drink and this can be really useful because I guess with the Gatorade or the Powerade you're gonna drink beyond the feeling of feeling thirsty within your mouth and then the other thing that's really great about the sodium in these drinks is that it's gonna help you to retain water. So I don't know if you've ever drunk a lot of water in a short period of time, but really all you end up doing is just peeing it out. So with the Gatorade or the Powerade, the sodium within that means you retain some of that water. So if you're dehydrated, you're not just gonna keep peeing the water out. Some of that's actually gonna stay within the body. It's gonna to help to hydrate. Now, I briefly mentioned that the Gatorade or the Powerade can fuel the body, um, which is via carbohydrate, but if we're calling it for what it is, this is just sugar. So the sugar gets a bit of a bad rap, but it's actually quite useful uh, in the middle of a, say, a training session or sporting performance, because you actually give you a little bit of a boost of energy when you might be running low. So under normal exercise conditions, carbs are one of the main fuel sources that the body uses. And after hard exercise, this is probably gonna to start to get quite low after about an hour, maybe 90 minutes, uh, depending on a few different factors like the intensity of the exercise and the temperature outside. But there's research out there that mid-training or mid-game carbohydrate ingestion can actually be really useful in getting these carb stores uh, or giving them a little bit of a boost. And this can prolong our performance and our energy output. And the great thing about, I guess, the, the drinks is that being in a liquid form, the availability is and the uptake by the body is really quick. 
So when should you actually drink a sports drink? Now, I guess depending on where you research or who you ask, there's evidence to suggest that anything over an hour um, would be a good time to have a sports drink. But I think this is a little bit generous, to be honest. I've always been of the belief that 90 minutes plus of hard, intense exercise, then you should consider it. And anything over two hours, then you definitely should. I guess it depends on a few different factors, like the intensity of the exercise, the temperature outside. If it's really hot, then maybe after 90 minutes, you definitely should, or even an hour, definitely consider it. But at the same time, water is still a pretty good option for most people in most circumstances. So keep drinking water. You can save your money a little bit and you can get similar results depending on the circumstances, as I mentioned. There are definitely exceptions to this. So if you're a heavy sweater, then you might be someone that will need to have these drinks a little more often. There's a relationship between sweat loss and electrolyte loss. So when you sweat more, you will lose more electrolytes. And as I said, if you are outside for long periods of time, this could be exercising or even working outside for a whole day in the heat, then it might be another reason to consider having these electrolyte drinks just to give you a bit of, bit of an energy boost and to make sure that you're not having excess loss of these electrolytes throughout the day. So what are the benefits to having a sports drink either during or after exercise? So during running tests on a treadmill, there's been mid-run uh, consumption of one of these drinks, and this has essentially resulted in a longer time to exhaustion or a longer time until the runner had to stop running because they just couldn't go any longer. When we exercise for at least an hour and sometimes closer to 90 minutes, our carb stores start to get quite low. And when this happens, we then have to start using the fat stores in our body to produce energy. And Fat stores, they produce a lot of energy, but the downside of this is that it actually, the process takes a little bit longer to then make that energy available. So say you're running a marathon, your carb stores have started to deplete and you're, you've got more reliance on your fat stores, you will then have to slow down because the energy can't be delivered to the body as quickly. So if you have a sports drink during the exercise, it means these carb stores are going to be available for just that little bit longer, which means that you might be able to run for that same pace or a little bit quicker just for an extra five minutes, 10 minutes. But that five, 10 minutes that you then don't have to use the fat stores could mean you know minutes off your time. So anytime you have a hard grueling exercise session or sporting performance, whether it's a game of football, basketball, or marathon, things like that, you need to consume some sort of carbohydrate afterwards to uh, replenish those stores. And that's gonna aid in your recovery. Some people, when they have spent all their energy out on the field, they don't really feel like eating anything. And this is where the drinks come in quite handy because they're a little bit easier to consume and you don't have to consume it all straight away. You can sort of sip on it over the space of you know 20 minutes to half an hour or even an hour just to slowly get these carb stores in via the drink. So the ideal amount of carbohydrates that you need to have uh, post game is going to be 1.2 to 1.5 grams of carbs per kilo of body weight. So if, for example, you weigh 80 kilos, you're looking at around 100 to 120 grams of carbs. Unfortunately though, one sports drink isn't quite gonna help you reach that. So uh, the Gatorade, for example, has 36 grams and the Powerade has 35. But there's a little trick you can use to help to get those carb stores in. So when you consume carbs alongside protein, the carbohydrate replenishment can get similar results, but from having consumed less carbs. So the recommendation generally here is if you have carbohydrates with protein, you only need 0.8 grams of carbohydrate per kilo of body weight. And then however many grams of carbs you're having, you probably need half of this in protein. So if we take the 80 kilo person example um, from before, if you have 0.8 grams of carbs, Per kilo, you're looking at about 60 to 65 grams of carbohydrate, which then means you need about 30 to 35 grams of protein. 30 to 35 grams of protein is pretty typical for a single serving of a protein shake. And then you can couple that with maybe a sports drink. And then when you do feel like eating later, you could uh, have some food 
or you could try and just stick with the sports drinks and you probably need to have at least two of these then if you're going to opt for just the liquid, not the food. So my recommendation, if you generally don't feel like eating after uh, exercise or game of sport, would be to have a protein shake immediately after and then sip on a Gatorade or a Powerade uh, in the couple of hours after the game until you feel like eating again. So I guess the really good part about the protein shake and the sports drinks is from your recovery point of view, you're getting in liquid by protein shake and the sports drink so you're hydrating your body the protein is going to help reduce that muscle degradation and that muscle damage that you've just experienced from a game and then you're getting the carbohydrate replenishment and trying to f refuel those carb stores so that's going to help in your recovery as for the electrolytes you can still get these in food but as i said if you're someone that doesn't really like eating immediately after a game or a marathon or something like that then definitely opt for the sports drinks to get those electrolytes in all right so which sports drink brand is best now as i mentioned before the two most common are going to be the gatorade and the powerade they're probably going to be for me your best options post exercise the electrolyte quantities are pretty good and there's a decent amount of carbs in there as well so these are great for a boost during exercise and really good for your recovery post-match or post-exercise. Obviously, there is a little bit of sugar in these drinks, so each drink, I think, has about 150 calories, so it's by no means excessive, but if you are calorie counting, it might be one of those things where if it does fit into your day, then great. If not, then sticking to water is going to be more than fine. I don't think you're gonna be missing out on too much. Now, over the journey, uh, some of these brands have brung out sugar-free versions, um, which, if I'm honest, I think they're a bit of a cash grab uh, and almost taking advantage of the diet culture that we live in sometimes because ultimately at the end of the day, one of the main reasons you're going to have one of these sports drinks is because of the sugar and the carbohydrates within them. This is gonna to help to either fuel your performance or help with your recovery um, post-exercise or post-game. Without the sugar, sure, you still get the electrolytes, but if your goals are more sporting performance, uh, related, then I think that they're probably not the best option. But if it's one of those things where maybe you are, I don't know, working outside for eight, 10 hours a day in the heat, this actually could be quite a good option. Or maybe you just like the taste of them, then drink a hundred of them, be my guest. But it's not something that I guess from a sporting performance uh, point of view would be ideal. Now, this I discovered a few months ago, it's the Hydrolyte Sports Powder. Now, I think I've only seen someone drinking a Hydrolyte when they've been unwell or when they've woken up a bit sideways on a Sunday morning. Um, at first glance, the electrolyte content is actually through the roof. So compared to uh, your Gatorade or Powerade or anything like that, it actually hits them all out of the park. But unfortunately, the carbohydrate content or the sugar content is actually quite low compared to a Gatorade. It's not quite as low as the no sugar versions of the, the Powerade, but again, if you are got a sports performance goal, this probably isn't the best option, even though it does say sports on it. So good marketing by Hydrolyte there. But if you are, it's actually probably a very good option though, just because of the uh, electrolyte content, if maybe you are, a tradie that works outside in the heat for eight to ten hours a day or if you are really sick dehydrated you're struggling to keep any food down something like that or you haven't been able to eat then the hydrolyte powder is actually uh, quite a good option for that but again sports performance goal stick to the powerade or the gatorade which you actually can get in powdered versions as well which you can make then as strong as you like so I guess in summary, the Gatorade, Powerade, it can be better than water when you are doing high intensity exercise for long periods of time because you're going to retain uh, the liquid. It's going to help you become more hydrated. If you have sports performance goals, the carbohydrate within them is also going to be really beneficial for either a boost during exercise or during a game and also that recovery afterwards. If you're a heavy sweater, then definitely consider this. But if your exercise intensity isn't that high or you're exercising for 60 minutes or less, 
stick to water. You're wasting your money having these after a 60 minute gym session, to be honest. 90 minutes plus, that's when you get one of the, stuck into one of these. If you're sick, unwell, like the taste, then your Hydrolyte Sports Powder or the no sugar versions will be best for you. But other than that, water is definitely gonna be your friend in most cases. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, found it informative, then please press like, subscribe to the channel, send it to your friends, send it to your mum, your dad, your nan, anyone that might find this interesting. Check out the other videos on our channel as well. The, our Instagram is a good resource and the TikTok as well. The TikTok is blowing up. Again, thank you for tuning in. Until next time. <laughs>